Before you watch and listen to the core of this video, I would like to make a movie suggestion. If you have not seen the Adjustment Bureau already, please, please check this movie out. This movie came out in 2011. It was no coincidence that it was put out 2011. Notice the two 11s. As I've always said, the truth is often put in the movies and songs and entertainment while being passed off as fantasy or make-believe. The Adjustment Bureau is essentially about a politician and a dancer who has mysterious forces working behind the scenes to keep them apart. The reason why I'm making this movie suggestion is because it is very relevant to what I'm about to get into in this video and it's also relevant to what is going on now. Again, the Adjustment Bureau. Check it out. Take from it whatever you want or what resonate and leave the rest behind. I've talked about contracts and agreements lightly some time ago, but I'm being pushed and uh, guided to speak a little more in depth about it. Now, I know that there are those who say that free will is an illusion. We really don't have free will. And I can understand from a certain perspective that appears to be the truth. But what people don't consider and what people don't think about is that our free will in moving down here and experiencing whatever it is that we want to experience begin before we even get a physical body. So that means that we make a contract or an agreement and create a chart with a set parameter for us to experience when we come down here. Now, if we just leave out the fact that we made an agreement on what it is that we come here to do and everything that we had chosen to experience, when we leave that out, yes, it looks like we don't really have free will, but we do. Contracts and agreements are made before we become a physical mind and body human being. We have to make a contract and agreement to be totally bound by the laws and physics of a dense physical body. We have to make the contract and agreement to take on the genetic coding and even karma of those who have existed before because it comes along in the body and be bound by that when we come in. We make the agreement to be restricted majorly when we come into dense physical reality. We also made an agreement to abide by the laws of the land. But of course, they also created laws of the sea. They call that Admiralty Law. So there is a reason why every time you turn around here on the earth, they are constantly dis distracting and detracting the masses and they create all of these laws because they want to trick a lot of people into consenting to contracts and agreements without really understanding or having the full scope of what we are consenting agreeing to there are contracts that are deals that are being made down here that are also spiritually binding but we also made agreements before coming in that is absolutely spiritually bound binding and here's where the confusion comes in the confusion comes in when we don't really put in the work to remember who we are when we become mentally psychologically and spiritually lazy when we give into what is 
given on the surface. Now we do have uh, what people call guides or what have you to keep us and push us on path or keep us on our on course, but a lot of us get off course. Now let me tell you, when contracts and agreements are being made, we're either here because we we agree to the terms or we made a contract and agreement and violated and in that contract agreement that we violated the term of that um, of failing to uphold that agreement would be a um, a life on earth to go through something to do something so no matter how we cut or slice the pie we consent before we come in but like a lot of contracts here on earth when we realize there's um, there are claws and there are lines in it that makes us uncomfortable and it seems unfair, we want to get out and we don't like it and we get angry. But again, we signed, we consented. So most of us are just surface dwellers. We stay on the surface and those who create contracts and I'm talking about beings on this plane and beings that we can't see. They rely on us living and staying on the surface so that we keep ourselves consenting to situations that keep us from getting out of the cycle of repeating the same mistakes over and over and over and having to pay a penalty for it. The reason why these contracts and agreements are set in place on every single plane is because of free will. No one or nothing can do anything to us without us consenting. But most of the time we consent in ignorance. We consent without reading the fine print. And once we consent, there goes our free will. We used it, but we're misusing it in ignorance. Y'all get what I'm saying here. So this is why there is such a war on consciousness. Because once we become conscious, really conscious, meaning we begin to see beyond what those who want to manipulate those who want to manipulate us. We start seeing behind or beyond what they feed us and tell us and show us. We see them for who they really are. You can see a wolf in sheep's clothing. You would know right away when someone is giving you an offer, making a deal that is not going to serve your highest good or your best good or your people's best good. Because there are contracts and agreements being made individually, tribally, in terms of nations, worlds, planes. There are so many levels to this. So let's let's speak of in terms of um, beings who make contracts and agreements on behalf of a nation. Some of us are hive minded. This is why you have so many people looking for a messiah or a leader or a queen or somebody to lead them and direct them. It's because these are hive minded beings. So when you are a hive minded being, you have long since consented to someone to being your leader, your queen, your king, your what have you. And when you when you do that and after you've done that, you have given your will over to the the being, the soul. And that soul is making decisions on your behalf. You consented to that because you understood that's what their job is supposed to be. We make individual contracts. It gets really, really layered and really, really complex. But here's the good news. The good news is that because of those who have truly awakened and seen through layers and layers of deception and corruption and unfair contracts, a lot of these contracts are now being neutralized they are being rendered null and void, but there are some that cannot be. They must be served. They must play out. 
but then there are still contracts that we have the power within to neutralize and make null and void on our own once we come into our own higher level of consciousness. We have that right. So we're at a time where much is being revealed. A lot of things, a lot of uncomfortable things are coming out now. And what that should be doing is not causing fear, panic and terror. It should be sparking a DNA activation and pushing us to really go beyond the mind, the borders of our human mind construct, beyond the programming, the indoctrination and connecting with our highest version of self possible and begin working with that version of yourself to figure out how you can neutralize contracts and agreements that is not serving your or your family, your tribe, your nation's highest good. This is short and simple, just some food for thought. Stay tuned for the next video because it's actually connected to what I just shared with you. All right, measurable love always. Continue to question, learn, and grow, y'all.